Words. I said words cannot express how fucking pissed off I am right now. You just have no idea. This is my second time doing this fucking video. For the simple fact, my computer decided to freeze right at the point where I was about to save the video. And I had the coolest fucking joke said. You know what I mean? Like, the other video was perfect. It was fucking perfect. And it just decided to freeze on me. But there's actually a good side to all of this. And the good side is, I know exactly what I need to do now. I mean, at first, like, I was randomly running around the city talking to people, and, like, now I know exactly what I need to do. Which is, you know, it's cool. Like, that's great, you know? Like, I know exactly who's gonna give me something, and I feel great. I think I should do that all the time. I should go in each of the cities and just randomly talk to people just so I know exactly who to talk to. You know, do a test run. But then again, that just seems like too much fucking work. I mean, if it's an accident, then it's an accident, and I'll actually run with that. But, you know, just to, to always test run everything, I don't know. I'm, I think I'm too lazy for all that bullshit. So this asshole is going to defense Carl. And it's so, it pisses me off so much, because I did so much, like, explaining of things, you know? Like, things that I explained will make a lot of sense, and I'm, I'm sort of happy with myself. But, you know, the universe decided that it wanted to just piss, off, piss me off fuck up my moment of, you know, happiness. I don't know. So, what I'm gonna do is... Ah, fuck, Snakehead is still poisoned from last video, which is all good because that man up there, yeah, the one that kind of looks like Iron Man, is definitely gonna give me a fucking soda pop after I'm done kicking these three assholes. Asses. You know, so... Wow, these three assholes asses. God damn. So yeah, I mean, after this video, I just want to, you guys, look at him. He looks like fucking Iron Man, like, real shit. I, like, I didn't even see that one coming, y'all. Like, I just looked at him, I was trying to, like, describe him, and he just, in my head, Iron Man popped up. Like, wow. Why does this guy look like he has a fucking Iron Man mask on? So look, Athena. Athena's doing it big. You know, Athena can actually pull its own weight now and another thing was right i was actually thinking about changing the name because i know Rura had his ralts name athena so i was thinking about changing the name and i was like on the last video i was like all right i'm gonna change it as soon as i get the chance and the cool thing is there's like there's actually the the name rated person wow i can't even think right now i'm watching i'm watching family guy matter of fact let me turn this shit down like hold up ah fucking got me Confused shit, and I cannot turn it down. Ah, there we go. All right, cool. I'm all watching Family Guy and shit. I guess I was getting distracted. But yeah, the name Raider guy is actually in the next city, which is kind of cool. Bro. So that's a bonus if I've ever seen one. Now this Machop. Now as long as I don't confuse myself like a dick face, then this Machop should go down with one confusion. But I gotta not hit myself, because if I do, Machop is gonna kill me. I guarantee he's gonna kill me now. Fuck, he's gonna low kick me. Wow, that low kick did absolutely nothing. And I know, you know, Psychic beats fighting, but fighting Pokemon usually have like a really high attack. So I figured that it would do way more damage than what it just did, but damn. Yo, I've seen the move Splash do more damage. Yeah, that's you guys' cue to laugh. Flash doesn't hurt anybody. Ha ha ha. So this thing should actually go down with one confusion too, since it's super effective. And but oh, Cynicruel, as I've said before, has one of the highest fucking special defenses of any Pokemon. It's actually, I mean, it's not on like the top five list. I think on the top five list is like Reggie, Reggie Ice or something like that, or um, Umbreon should be on that. I mean, Umbreon has really good defense. I'm not sure if that's on the top five either. But let's just say Tentacruel has some really good special defense. Like, my Tentacruel was actually able to survive a thunder. So, we're going to talk to this guy. And he's definitely going to get us a soda pop. Because, you know, Iron Man is metal, so he can't drink. Or, then again, he can because it's just a man that's out of a suit. So, yeah, man, everything's looking cool. I'm finally in Slateport City. The city of ports and slates and slates and ports. And, yeah. 
and Snakehead fanning on me. Like, a matter of fact, last video, I don't think Snakehead fanning on me. I think I took too many steps this time. Because Snakehead did not. Wow, Brian is throwing up. Like, this is actually the episode of Family Guy where, like, Quagmire's dad gets his sex changed and Brian ends up having sex with him. That shit is fucking disgusting. That's, like, actually a fear. I don't want to run into some girl and kind of find out that she's a fucking man. You know, that shit ain't cool. So, I can't remember exactly who, but... Alright, it wasn't this lady. Okay, it was definitely this lady then. Alright, this lady is gonna give me, uh... A berry, no, like a, a powder jar, there it is, you know, where you can crush up the berries and turn it into powder, I guess. I'm not really sure how that works or what I'm supposed to do, but I'm just going to ignore it for now. I'll probably test it out in the next video. Oh, wow, lady, you just, like, locked me. I can't even get through. Can you get the fuck out of the way, dumb bitch? All right, so this other guy that looks like Iron Man, he actually sells, like, energy items, you know, stuff that boosts, like, your... Uh, your attack and you know your defense and shit now the cool thing about these items is they also give you evs you actually get 10 evs for every you know one that you give your pokemon like so if you give your pokemon a protein it gets 10 evs because of that which actually it actually helps your pokemon out in the long run because when your pokemon starts ranking up it'll actually get more experience and you know protein i mean in, in attack you know if you give it a protein my bad yeah I actually explained all this shit like way better in the last video. So this guy is actually going to give me a parcel or something that he wants me to deliver to Captain Stern. Which actually, which means, alright, I'm not going to spoil it, but let's just say in the last video when whatever is about to happen happened, I only had like 10 seconds left. So I was actually going to put it in the last video, but since I knew exactly who to talk to and what to do this time, you know, it gets to, I get to, uh, you know, save all the time and shit. And I actually ran it about how they're charging me $50 to go give this asshole something. And how much stuff you can get for $50. I mainly stated how many honey buns you can get. Because I've been having this really big craving for honey buns lately. So these two assholes run up on me. And it's like, yo, yo, real shit. We taking the parts, B. And I'm like, what the fuck, my nigga? Like, real shit? Because we can make it real right now, cuz. And that's what I said to them. But they was like, nah, fuck you, nigga. Oh, pussy ass nigga. So at this point, he ran up on me. I had to defend myself. You know what I mean? That's that's what's going down right now. I'm about to defend myself from this nigga right here. So he's going to throw out a Carvana. You know what I mean? You really don't see too many of them. And I'm actually going to trade Ralts out because Carvana is a dark type. It was water dark. So I don't even want to take that chance. And I'm actually going to throw Big Yama because Big Yama is going to KO this motherfucker with Vital Throw. Or, I think, alright, so Rage, Rage really isn't, I don't know, I really, I don't know too much about the move Rage, but it's not that big of a deal, but Vital Throw should actually, you know, KO him right now. Boom, and Big Yama is in there. Wow, oh, I forgot, it has the rough skin ability, as you can see, so if you touch it with a move, then, with a physical move, you're gonna get hurt, which I'm not really worried about. Big Yama is a beast anyway. So with that being said, now this guy's gonna... You know, I like how he's fighting me, but he's not, like, right in front of me. That reminds me of Halo today, where, um, I was, like, I guess... I was... I guess you can say I'm in a battle with a guy, and he shoots me from behind. Like, he's not even facing me. But some fucking how, some fucking way, he still shot me. Can't really be explained, but, I mean, that's just Halo for you. Probably one of the gayest online games ever so much fucking lag and that reticle boom pisses you off so i'm gonna go back to big yama this time and since i don't have to switch big yama in during you know an actual battle big yama actually gets a turn rather than you know losing out on two turns so i know it's gonna get hurt but big yama should be able to survive whatever it does plus the you know rough skin damage that it's gonna receive so get the fuck out of here carvana and as you can see, man, these niggas ain't ready. Real shit, bro. That's what I told them. I was like, yo, fuck that shit, nigga. Big Yama do it big, nigga. Real shit. It's like I'm a, I'm a gangster. And like my Pokemon, I'm a, uh, you know what I mean? I'm a, you know, I'm an OG. Fuck that. I'm an OG and my Pokemon are just my little, you know what I mean? My little homies that do it big. So look, they OG pop up. Now, I'm kind of scared now because I ain't healed up yet. So hopefully I don't have to battle him. And if I do, I'm kind of worried because I mean, they OG is going to go hard for the team. 
So he's telling me about a bunch of bullshit and how, you know, they're going against Team Magma and who gives a fuck. And now they're just gonna leave because they realize that my gang is just stronger, that they just not fucking ready. I ain't named my gang yet. I don't even know. We just the fucking the just the, the niggas. The just straight hood niggas. That's what we is, so it's my gang. He heals me up, which I believe he healed me up. I mean that's the sign of healing up, you know. I, I love that. Yeah, everything seems cool. Um uh, actually, wow, they just left one guy behind. I should have scared his little bitch ass. What, nigga? What, nigga? Yeah. Bye. Oh. Oh, he gave me some. Isn't he nice? He's like the black sheep of the game. He probably gave me Thief. I guarantee he gave me Thief. I guarantee fucking see it. Right, let me see. And he gave me Thief. What did I say? Like, because I'm black, he gave me the Thief move. That's, that's some real shit right there. I keep trying to tell people this game is racist. So it's this guy named Scott, and I'm sure I met you somewhere else before. And Scott actually was never in, uh, what was the game, Sapphire, so... I really don't know what his part is in this game. To tell you the truth, he kind of reminds me of, uh, what's, what's that guy? The Looker from Pokemon Platinum. I actually, he was annoying. And then on top of that, the Looker decided to show up in black and white. That annoyed the shit out of me, too. So it's some person named Elliot, which, what really sucks is... I can't really remember who these people are when they call, unless you're like an important person, like, you know. So that place is, um, everything seems pretty cool, like, I think I did everything that I can do in this town, and I could go to the name Raider, and I'm not worried about it, I'm just gonna keep it a thing for right now. So I'm gonna go up now, I'm gonna warn you right now, uh, at this point, I think that's Professor Rowan, no, it's Birch, Rowan, why did I say Rowan? Okay, Rowan is the other guy. Okay, man, I'm, I'm an idiot, man. You know, all these professors with their fucking tree names and shit. So he's, I guess what, I can rate your Pokedex in this time. Okay, that's cool, dog. But, uh, wasn't he already in there? You know, he wasn't. Hmm. I don't know. Anyway, though, I think he's supposed to, he's supposed to be at his, at his little palace, you know. I said palace. At his lab, you know, learning about Pokemon and shit. Look at Professor Birch being in the real world, you know what I mean? Professors don't never leave their home unless they're giving a speech about something that they just fixed or some shit. So, Snakehead is actually going to... Hmm. Uh, I'm just gonna attack that, and I'm gonna mud shot this one. I, I know I'm usually like, uh, you know, attack one, but I'm actually confident in Snakehead's ability to KO one, so there's no point in me attacking the same one. Because I'm pretty sure Snakehead is going to KO it with, you know, that one attack, so. And if it doesn't KO it, I'm actually going to be kind of pissed off. And, yes, as you can see, Plus Lee is definitely dead, and Minum is next to go. Wow. I mean, I, I can't stand, like, that Pokemon trainer that has, like, the same fucking Pokemon. It just irritates the hell out of me. And they're going to use Helping Hand, which I'm not really sure what that attack even does. Or moved us. I don't even want to call it an attack because it seems like no one got hit. So. But yeah, I'm, I'm gonna mud shot that Minum. Take Minum out. Pretty much gonna take out all the ones on the right side. And since I only got a minute left, I think I'm gonna cut it short after this video. So. Yeah. Okay, so. <clears throat> take him down. So Minum wants to growl and drop our attack, but little does Minum, I mean Minum should know by now that you know, I'm only using special attacks, so you're wasting your fucking time, stupid ass Pokemon. So much Shot is definitely going to dust this guy off, and with 30 seconds left, I really truly hope that this goes by pretty fast. Okay, that should be the last Pokemon. I was going to throw out one more. Snakehead goes up one more level, which is great, and they got one more Pokemon that I have 21 seconds to take out, which I plan on taking them out. But I'm pretty sure he's, yeah, man, like, um, electric Pokemon are usually extremely fast. Like, the only slow electric Pokemon that I know, uh, that I know to date is Magneton, you know, Magmite, any of those, like, any metal electric one is usually going to be kind of slow. So, as you can see, time is out, which means I gotta go. There it is, so I'm definitely out, and, ah, come on, man, hurry up, man, give me my money and let me go. So, oh my god, and you're going, mm. oh my god, I'm getting so pissed now. Alright, well, I gotta go, so I'm gonna talk to you guys later.